Here at Plant and Animal Genome, we're asking the question from a service provider's perspective, what's the best way to handle millions of samples and thousands of genotypes? So Jeremy, what can you tell me about GeneSeq? So GeneSeq is a service lab, a genomic service lab. GeneSeq has been uh, involved in, in primarily the, the animal uh, genomics business or space since 1998. Uh, today we're about uh, 115 employees genotyping about 1.2 or 1.3 million samples a year. Wow. Uh, primarily the, those samples are coming in as tissue, so that would be DNA, or I'm sorry, hair roots, uh, blood samples, semen, and, and we need to extract DNA and do genomic analysis on several different types of equipment platform depending on the density of, uh, of the project. So I understand from the sample prep perspective, you have a lot of people devoted to that on a particular platform. Yeah, absolutely. When you're processing that large volume of samples coming through there, we probably have somewhere on the magnitude of 70 or 5 or 80 employees extracting DNA three shifts a day, uh, seven days a week. And it's just uh, you know extracting the DNA from the tissue samples as they arrive and getting it ready for genomic analysis. Yeah, and what platform do you use as far as the extraction? Technology. We primarily use Life Technology or Thermo Fisher Technology to do that DNA extraction and today that, that, that's, that's really focused on magnetic bead separation and purification. Most of these high density panels, high density arrays, genotype by sequencing uh, panels require good DNA, well purified DNA, but it also requires DNA extraction to be cost effective and one that's amenable to high throughput and Thermo Fisher supplies us with good technology that basically encompasses all of those needs. So this is the MagMax? Correct, the MagMax technology. And it's in a 96 well plate format? 96 well format. We have 10 different systems, MagMax systems, wow. processing those DNA samples pretty much around the clock. Yes. And then recently you've tested uh, using AmpliSeq uh, technology for looking at genotyping by sequencing, is that correct? Correct. A lot of our customers need lower density, what we call lower density um, SNP panels that enable genomic selection in, in their animal breeding programs. Genotype by sequencing does offer us a, a cost-effective and high-throughput approach to that. Uh, specifically, the AmpliSeq technology allows our users of this technology to not really invest in 100,000 or 200,000 or 300,000 samples uh, a year that may be required on some of the different types of uh, array technology sure. that's out there today. It enables us to do it much more cost effective with slightly fewer numbers. And then we have more plug and play flexibility with adjusting these panels on the fly as we need to to better encompass their animal breeding needs. So we're able to basically cherry pick the panel using AmpliSeq technology. Exactly. We can evolve these panels uh, in almost real time and that's, that's definitely very new. So that, that, that's something that customers really find valuable. So as far as then the numbers, instead of hundreds of thousands of variants, you're looking at then maybe, what, a couple thousand? 2,000, 3,000, up to about 5,000 variants that allows our, our customers to impute up to those higher density arrays that then is, sure. is kind of the baseline that they use for genomic selection today. Mm -hmm. um, with the amount of data that's out there now, we can move this, this pendulum to these lower density panels that opens up the space now for genotype by sequencing to be applied in these animal breeding markets. I see. And then as far as the types of organisms you work with, is it primarily uh, livestock or? It's almost all livestock today. Um, pigs, uh, cattle, um, and sheep. And, and now we're starting to venture off into the companion animals industry or space, so dogs really? and cats. And, and it opens up, as the costs continue to, d to get lower and lower, it opens up the, the, the market to, to many more organisms. So help me on the companion animals. Then these are uh, pet food? types of companies are interested in that kind yeah, of research? All those sorts of companies that have interest in the well-being of, of canine and, and feline. Well, there's certainly a lot of interest in canine and felines from the companionship point of view, sure. yeah? Absolutely. Well, thank you for taking your time today. Yep. Really interesting work. Yep. Thank you very much.